All right, YouTube, this is Thundertruck here. As promised, I am going to show you how to get, if you guys don't know already, World at War PC Zombies. Let's delete this guy, though. That's my third, that's Eric's Thursday video. He's got it on the flash drive ready to go. All right, what you do is you need to download, you need to... Uh, get Steam, install it. I'm gonna click on it for you guys. Give it a second to load. And I already made the account. You're gonna have to make a new account. So you would click on. Well, as soon as this installs and stuff, you would, and it will give you this icon. But this is the website. I'll show you that too. Well, we're going to type in Google. I'll go on my bookmarks, Google. Type in Steam. It'll say, Welcome to Steam. Click on that guy. Now it says, Install Steam. You're going to install it. Then it says log in. But if you don't have a log in, uh, I'm sure they will have you be able to sign up. But you can look at all the different games. They cost money. But, uh, yeah, now I'm going to go show you where you can go in the search, search the store. Damn mouse. Sorry about that. I didn't want to do that. Stupid mouse is being gay. Like, slid off the thing. Alright, what we're gonna do... That's another game I wanna... Sh that's another game Thunder wants to... Thunder. <laughs> I'm Thunder. That's another game that, uh... Eric wants to play through. But we haven't... You, you know... That's a good series. If you have not seen that... I'd recommend you go to Spider... Buddy's channel and watch that. It's a pretty good uh, little game there. It's basically like The Walking Dead. If you like that, you'll like this too. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. But all right, now we're gonna search Call of Duty. Well, that war. I suggest you get it off here. The game. Alright, that's the game. You have to enter your date due to the fact it's rated M for mature. Alright, we're going to enter that. And we're going to go in. Now it's going to give you a trailer. It's going to have you add to cart. I don't know if it's going to cost you anything. Because I don't know if it took. I could be wrong. But this is where all the magic happens. Uh, you need Windows XP and uh, Vista 7. I'm sure it works for iMacs. Uh, I'm not going to get an iMac. Sorry. Uh... 8 gigabyte free of hard drive, so make sure you got room on your hard drive. The the graphics card, 256 MB. So I should check out my graphics card and see if I can find that. Sound on board or better. So that's a game. Uh, you'd add that to cart, you'd buy that, and then it would st install. It takes about, depending on your speed of your computer, it takes probably about 2 hours to download. Because it's such a big file. But once you get all that. You signed up into that. Uh, now. This is where the fun begins. In order to get. Custom zombie maps. For Call of Duty World at War. You have to go into. Zombie modding It used to be called custom car. But they changed it to modding. Alright. As of course, you have to sign in. You got to sign up. It's free to sign up. They're giving you 
showing you the good looking maps. Um, ooh, Halloween mapping contest. That's cool. I've only played a few maps, but uh, yeah. And now, once you sign in and all that good stuff, you're gonna go into downloads. Let's set this down. You're gonna go into downloads. It's gonna say, and you don't need Renoir if you have bought the PC version of this game uh, at a local retail. Yes, you're going to have to download the patches and get Renoir. But if you get it off Steam, you don't have to get Renoir. All you got to do is find not Call of Duty 5 PC version, not Black Ops, Call of Duty 5. Uh, my shit's being thing, so I'm going to go to real site. Uh, you probably won't have that. All right, now we're in the zombie modding map engine. You got maps, mods, patches, tools, Textures, so you could build your own maps if you want. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. Um, patches, uh, you'll be alright. You got all the patches if you downloaded it off Steam. The mod showing you what's in there. Now you can click on maps. This will show you proto style maps, which means no jug, you know, no perk machines, no upgrades, no hellhounds. Uh, you got Varuk style maps, Shido Numa style maps, Dari style maps, and then modded maps. Uh, so you pick in a category. And you pick the map you want to download. Um, there's Dell's Dock, there's the compound that I showed you guys recently. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do for the next playthrough? I got Nazi Zombie Island ready to go. But I'm going to go in here and find another map. Uh, do not get Nazi Zombie Dead Stand. It takes you to the credits. It's it's BS. Better yet. You can also get them here. But better yet. Let's go back to downloads. Go back into Nazi Zombies. And what we could do here. Where did I go before? When they have like. Oh here you go. A list of all the map releases. You could even go there. And then this will show you recent releases of uh, maps. So you got Fearless, you got Capsule Survival, Nazi Zombie Plugin, Nazi Zombie FE1, Zombie Challenger Workshop, Harvest Moon, Nuketown Zombies, mm. Ismonic. Nazi Zombie Basketball, Nazi Zombie Z-Box, Hospital, Zombie Arena, Capsule Survival. They got 37 pages of this. So, hmm, what one do I want to choose here? Tower of Hell. Alright, we're going to download School of Death. Alright, all you do is click on it. It's going to tell you the map names. You're going to click the download link. And you're going to click on, and you just got a trailer, it tells you what's in the gun, and all that. 
uh, let's see, map was made by, who was it made by, Zombie ZZ. so you'd put that in the description if you're going to YouTube it, and then what are you going to do, we're going to do this map, but after Nazi Zombie Island, we're going to do a playthrough of Dale's Dock and do a zombie challenge, and it says the UR is not found. So it must be a broken file. So uh, you're gonna get those once in a while. Alright, let's go back. Let's just go here and get a modded map. Let's see. All right, let's get this one, Nazi Zombie Fronts, V11. We're going to get that map. As always, it's going to show you this, the stuff. It's going to show you what's the trailer, what's in the gun, and the map. But, you know, it tells you what's up with the game and, and all that good stuff. So... We are going to download this. See if it will work this time. Well, it automatically for me it went in. Most of these won't do that. You'll have to go into a download page and it will say download. So I'm going to download this to my desktop. And what's cool about this. You don't have to make a folder or nothing. It will enact to vision. It's too much of a hassle. So we're going to go to desktop. We're going to save it. Make sure it saves. It's going to take probably about a minute or two. And then, and then in order to play the game, though, you got to sign into Steam. So we're not going to sign into Steam. Oh, did I exit it out? No. So, yeah, it's got all it's got to do is download. And then once that's done downloading, all you have to do is click on it, install it there. And then once you install it, you can get rid of that file. It'll be on the game where the modic section is. Um... I will show you that when I do my custom zombie gameplay on my next video and show you from there. And that's pretty much it on how to get custom zombies on your PC game of World at War. And that's all I have for this vid, this tutorial video. Well, I guess I could throw that on Eric's words that he can't say tutorial. Can't say that word very well. It's got about 13 seconds here. 10 seconds, 8 seconds. It's all you hardcore zombie fans. If you want to play this, I recommend you get it. Because... You'll like the I'm sure you'll like the game, and it gives you more zombies. All right, that damn it, I keep dropping my mouse. All right, that's all downloaded. Now we can exit all that, and the file is one of these. Oh, it's not that one. So it's going to be this one. So you click on it. As I say, do you want the following program, an unknown publisher, to make changes to this computer? Do, 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 do. Yes. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take you to this. And then you're going to install. It's going to be a fast install. Because you have to do this before you get the game on. So I suggest to you is whatever maps you want to get. Download them first. Start out COD. World at War. And then go into your modded section. And, the, and you click on the map. The screen's going to go turn. The game itself is going to turn off and then come back on. And then what you do is hit dev map in the little prompt up there. And then uh, Nazi zombie in the map name. Now it's finished. And there you go. 
Um, I will show you how to get into there once we play Dale's Dock. I don't know if they will do it. Because some maps, you don't have to enter the prompt. Because once you launch them, they'll go right into their own title screen. Well, this is Thunder, and hopefully this little video here helped you guys out on how I get my COD World at War PC zombies. Well, this is Thunder, and peace out to my next custom zombie gameplay, Black Ops 2 zombie gameplay, and Black Ops 1 zombie gameplay. And peace out till next time.